And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Throw Throw Burrito, a dodgeball card game. And this is a game that was on Kickstarter, and in fact was pretty, it's from the folks who made Exploding Kittens and all that. Uh, this is a game that actually delivered early to Kickstarter backers. And so actually I have the Kickstarter edition here. This is a slightly bigger version of the game, but there's, I, I had both versions. I don't have the other version here right now, but they're essentially the same thing. In this game it's all about literally throwing a foam type burrito at other players. Sorry. game players are playing with a deck of cards that's made up of weird animals like religion pigeon, yell and melon, black male whale, sombrero sparrow, sluggy puggy, drama llamas, and loafer gopher. Um, you also have cards like burrito war, burrito duel, and two different color burrito brawls pink and green. You're going to put about 15 cards in front of each player. The exact count does not matter. Players are going to draw five cards into their hand and then you're going to say go. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick a card from your hand and discard it onto the draw pile of the person to your left and take a new card in your hand. And you're going to keep doing this and you're going to keep doing that until of course the person next to you is going to be putting cards on top of yours. But once you get three cards of the same type, black male whale, you just say that and put it in front of you. And then draw back up to five. Whenever you put a, car, a set of cards in front of you, it's worth one point, except for these special cards that are shown here. These, if you get three of them, you're going to get two points. Also, if you play three pink burrito brawls or three green burrito brawls, then the two players, so your right and left, must each quickly grab a burrito and hurl it at the other person. The first person hit the other person. Uh, the person who gets hit is going to take one of these tokens here, which means you've been stunned by a burrito. Uh, if you have a burrito duel, you, everyone stops the game, two people go back to back, walk three steps and turn and hurl burritos at each other. And if you have burrito war, everyone but you is trying to grab a burrito and hurl it at anybody. When the last one of these tokens has been taken, then we're going to count up points to see who's won the game. As I said, a group of these is one point, a group of the other cards is worth two points, and the burrito bruises are going to be negative points. And then whoever has the most points is gonna get the Fear Me badge. You then start a second round doing the exact same thing. If the person with the Fear Me badge wins, they win the game. Otherwise, the person who won the second round and the person with this badge will have a burrito duel of which the winner is the winner of the game. Okay, so these are the best component of the game. They're squishy, they feel great, and they don't really get hurt that much. Look at that burrito unsquish itself. I'm sorry I squished you, burrito. I don't know. There's just something about these that they have a... I don't know. Now, this is the Kickstarter edition, as I said at the beginning that I'm showing you, but the burrito is pretty much the same quality. The main difference that I can tell is just the cards that are different, and there's different animals, uh, or I guess in this case, fruit that's involved in this one. Everything fits inside here. The Fear Me goes at the bottom. It all fits in a nice case. The quality of the cards, very good quality of the cards, and has that silly artwork that the company's known for. Well, what else is there to say? Not much more to tell you. It's collecting three cards, and it's a frenzied game passing cards. I have found that sometimes the game kind of hangs up because, you know, the cards that are passing. So sometimes I have paused while playing, waiting for the person next to me to put a few more cards on my pile and then start drawing those. Otherwise, you see the same cards as you're passing them around as frantically as you can. Or you might say, wait a minute, I've seen this card go past around. I'm just going to pick this one up and pass another one around. And maybe this card I've seen too many times, I'll get three of. I, I, I do wonder why you use only 15 cards per player and not the whole deck just split between the players. It seems like that would, I don't know, I don't get it. But literally the game is about hurling these. Quickly grabbing cards and then hurling these at other people. The burrito duel is the favorite part. It's fun, it's silly. It's okay. You know, it's not a game that I'm going to rave about, that I want to play. It's definitely not a game you're going to want to play in any place that you need to be quiet. Um, and it's definitely not a game you're going to want to play where someone's going to get beamed with one of these. Now, it doesn't hurt that much, um, but it's still going to happen. And I think there's a certain time and place. Kids enjoy this game, you know, and they also like saying things like drama llama or loafer gopher. Um, but, you know, 
I, the game isn't pretending to be anything else, right? It's called Throw Throw Burrito. It's about throwing burritos and spitting cars around as fast as you can. You're getting what's advertised and what you paid for. Not necessarily my style of game. At the same time, I didn't dislike it. And, you know, how often do I get to throw a burrito at my kids? So, there you go. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. Hey, you thought I was going to throw it, didn't you? Dice Tower Judgment. Silly fun. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.